Dr. K.P. Chow is Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science, Faculty of Engineering, the University of Hong Kong. His area of research is cybercrime investigations and forensics in the Center for Information Security and Cryptography. Since 2008, we have been uh, working closely with the uh, Hong Kong Customs and Excise Department. The software developed for the custom department is aimed at detecting potential privacy activities on the internet. Statistics tell us that in recent years, the, the largest growth rate in crime is actually in internet crime, crime that are technology related. The hardest part is that uh, there virtually is no border with the cyber crime and it can happen anywhere. You have to deal with a huge data and you also have to deal with people that is working outside your jurisdiction. One of the major systems that, uh, that is developed by our centre is um, the Landerman system, which is quite successful because after the first generation we rolled out at the customs department, we got the second generation and then we got the third generation. I think this is one of the most successful systems on fighting against cybercrime. I think it's actually uh, very difficult to really stay ahead of the uh, cyber criminal because the, uh, one of the uh, major development of cybercrime in the last few years is there were a lot of uh, money involved. So in the past, they used uh, BitTorrent, some, some BT software. So that is basically our first, first version of our system. And now in this third version, because now the internet pirates, they are moving from using BitTorrent to what we call the CyberLocker. This version is basically what is fighting against those users on the cyber lockers. Our relationship with the customs department is actually uh, on, a, I would say, on a, a long-term relationship. Okay, we have uh, usually going through a kind of typical software development process. We identify the problems they want to solve, and then we come up with ideas, implementing the uh, prototype, Follow on that, if they like their ideas, then we'll implement the system. But the day-to-day uh, -day operation, okay, like to catch the criminal, is always their job. We are actually colleagues, you know, although we are from different organizations, but I may call him colleague. We have quite a lot of occasions that we have to stick together to work out how the latest technology has posed a challenge to us and what solutions he can come up with. The question is first of all how to find them or how to identify this potential privacy activities on the internet and secondly how to find those criminals. When we are trying to tackle, we have the latest uh, situation uh, like the, using the cyber locker as uh, a media for distribute copyright work and the system uh, Dr. Chow developed for us I think is just within a matter of a few months. And it's really quick that it helps us a lot with uh, this new developed system. Do we need to be think like a criminal? Yes. We need to uh, understand how the uh, cyber criminal acts and how they think. And in many circumstances, we need to uh, simulate their behaviors. As far as I'm aware, you know, we are the only um, custom service over the world that have uh, developed similar technology to deal with cyber crimes. Knowledge exchange is very important because it's one of the three pillars uh, of our mission. And uh, knowledge exchange means that whatever research results that we have, we want to make impact to the society, either for economic gain or for betterment of the society. Those cyber criminals, they are using more and more advanced tools. And in a way, it is quite difficult to catch up with them, with all the new technologies. We don't see um, other overseas jurisdictions that are using similar approach to tackle cyber crime, at least uh, in the customs community. We find that the, uh, we actually benefit from this uh, working relationship. We plan not just in terms of practical implementation. And we believe that, okay, we can come up with a scientific theory for cybercrime investigation and forensics.